FP3D, so that you have uh, then one of the, uh, the hybridized orbitals, you have a lone pair of electrons, and then you have four unpaired electrons. Are you together? Yes. Okay. So, Fran, we use molecular formula to draw Rayleigh structure and determine the electron arrangement around each central atom. We then process. So, basically, we must look at, for us to know the type of hybridization, we must think about the central atom and look at how the electrons were arranged in the molecular orbitals so that we can know the type of hybridization. So, and these are the solutions to the questions that we have already talked about. And let's see whether he argued correctly. In methano, because that is methano, Oxygen bonds to the carbon via single bond, and the three hydrogens also bond via single bond. So the central carbon atom is bonded to four other atoms via single bond. So the carbon, because it has an S and a P, and the S has a lone pair, one, and the P, one of the P's is empty. For you to have four orbitals for boarding, then an, an electron must jump from the S to the P. So and you have the sharing of a single S and three P uh, orbitals. And therefore, the type of hybridization in, uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, Midano is as shown here, that you had in the atomic orbital, a lone pair in S and two electrons in P, but then you must fill the P so that, and have an empty, uh, 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 an unpaired electron in S. And so the type of hybridization must be sp3 hybridization. Now, uh, the, the other, this, the, the, the next one is in water. In water, sorry. In water, you have oxygen atom, which is the central atom, which has a lone pair of electrons thrown in the S, a lone pair electron in one of the P, and two unpaired electrons. But so it that means that it just means that water is formed by the two unpaired electrons in P being joined to hydrogen. But because the outermost electronic configuration involves S and P, the S and P must combine but only two unhybridized electrons, uh, unpaired electrons are found. And so the type of hybridization is sp3 with two unpaired, uh, uh, two lone pairs, uh, which were taken from the atomic orbitals. In sp4, if you look at the central atom is sulfur. Sulfur has a lone, a lone pair in S, a lone pair in P, and two unpaired electrons. But you want four unpaired electrons. So it must be that when you combine uh, S and P, you only have two unpaired electrons, but you need two other. Or we need another D, uh, uh, orbital so that one of the electrons can jump and there is a mistake here one of the uh, uh, the atoms here is a lone pair so one uh, one uh, we can look at this so there is a mistake what should be a lone pair and a D orbital comes in so that we have F sp3 D with their own pair. So they are five, but one is a pair of electrons, so only four can vote to fluorine. So uh, you can correct that one. Now, 
Now, remittitions of hybridize of this type of hybridization model. And that hybridization is not always consistent with the observed molecular shapes. For example, uh, in hydrogen uh, sulfide, the type of board angle that we see of 92 degrees is not consistent with the uh, tetrahedral shape that you would expect uh, in sp3. Uh, in sp3 hybridization and therefore do d orbitals uh, in this do not hybridize effectively because the d orbitals do not hybridize effectively with the s and p orbitals uh, and therefore uh, uh, there is an even uh, sharing of electrons now the types of covariant boots that you can have uh, sigma boards. Now, when you have S and S orbitals board, usually we have sigma boards. Uh, on the other hand, if you have P orbitals boarding only, you have pi boards. Now, in many yeah. circumstances, the hybridized orbitals form sigma boards. So, Adegu, a course to the mute. Now, pi boards are dimensional and therefore they are usually formed sideways. Uh, but sigma boards usually are distributed evenly from one another. Now, where you have a double board, a double board must consist of one sigma board and one pi board. A triple board, it will consist of one pi board and two, uh, no, one sigma board and two pi boards. And a pi board is weaker than a sigma board because sideways overlap is less effective than head to head overlap. And here, given the example of a thin, Ethane in, uh, in showing the type of hybridization. In ethane, just like in methane, the type of hybridization is sp3 hybridization. All the orbitals are hybridized and they are sp3 hybridized. And so all the type of boards that are involved are sigma boards, either between carbon and carbon and carbon and hydrogen. Between carbon and carbon are two sp3 hybrid orbitals. Between carbon and hydrogen, you have sp3 and s from hydrogen uh, to form uh, all of them sigma board. Just a moment.
So basically, uh, this, this is showing you the type of hybrid, right? Around the each carbon atom in sp3 hybridization is a tetrahedral shape. No, so, uh, so you have to look at each carbon atom and look at its surrounding, and therefore the board angle is uh, one of 9.5 degrees. Now, in now you have shown, shown that now in a theme, the type of hybridization is S around the carbon is sp2, and one of the carbon bo uh, p boards remains in hybridized, and therefore it forms a pi double board. But then the shape is determined by the sp2 hybridization. And sp2 hybrid orbitals form trigonal shapes around the central atom, and therefore the board angle is 120 degrees, as you can see in the drawn molecule. So the unhybridized orbitals form the double board, which is sideways, and therefore not part of the angle uh, formation. Rastre, we have, and those who are taking uh, organic chemistry one, I think this one becomes easy to understand, or those who have done, because we have, we, we, there we looked at these in details. Now, in sp1 hybrid orbitals, only a single s and a single p orbitals hybridized. The other p orbitals remain unhybridized, and they form part of the overlap, and therefore they don't decide the shape. The shape is linear, and the angle is 120, uh, 180 degrees. So you can look at that one in the... Uh, Now, this, uh, so now you can have a molecule where different atoms of the same type have different types of hybridization. For example, in a molecule like uh, propane or what you call acetone, the terminal carbons are sp3 hybridized and their angles are 109 and the shape is trigon or tetrahedral, but this middle carbon is sp2 hybridized different from the others and the angles are one at 20 degrees and the shape around that middle carbon is uh, trigonal prana so some of the rules is that they, because pi boards are dimensional, they restrict rotation, and uh, therefore they are uh, unlike SP, uh, uh, unlike hybridized orbitals, which usually uh, which are able to rotate uh, because they are sigma boards. Now, uh, lastly, in looking at um, uh, molecular. Uh, molecular or covariant boarding, we look at another type of theory known as molecular orbital theory. Now, in the molecular orbital theory, the molecular orbital theory argues that when atomic orbitals combine, we add up with two types of molecular orbitals. Those boarding orbitals and non-boarding orbitals. So in the molecular orbital theory, the total number of orbitals are equivalent to the total number of atomic orbitals that are involved. So that we have 
uh, in the total number of orbitals, molecular orbitals formed, some will be boarding while others will be non-boarding. And in the molecular orbital theory, it, uh, the argument is that the combination of orbitals to form boards is viewed as a combination of wave functions. Uh, of course, we're not, not going to the details because wave function equations are complicated. We are just going to look at uh, the simple uh, representation so that atomic wave functions combine to form molecular wave functions. Now, addition of atomic orbitals forms boarding molecular orbitals, which has a region of higher electron density between the nuclei. Subtraction of atomic orbitals, that is the total atomic orbitals, uh, from the molecular orbitals uh, gives you the number of antiboarding molecular orbitals. Uh, so, for example, the analogy, uh, so the analogy that uh, uh, comes in is that uh, that of uh, between light waves and atomic waves that uh, waves line force at the middle and and and, and anyway it's uh, let, let us look at the subtraction let's uh, read these ones uh, around it will be a bit complex let us look at for example, the combination of two hydrogen uh, atomic orbitals. Each of the hydrogen has an atomic orbital, an atomic orbital. So when two hydrogens both to form a molecular orbital, the total number of atomic orbitals that combine are two. But because we only have a capacity to form a pair of Boarded electrons, then it means that although the total number of molecular orbitals that are formed are two, only one is boarding, which is at a lower energy than the isolated atomic orbitals, while we have another pair. Well, we have another pair, and another pair of electrons. Uh, well, now, now we have another orbital which is not involved in boarding. So, out of the two atomic orbitals, we form two molecular orbitals. One which will be boarding, which is lower energy than the atomic orbitals, while another one is ant boarding. So, the number of molecular orbitals is one. And the number, uh, the, no, the number of um, boarding orbital is one, and the number of antiboarding orbital is one, and the total of orbitals is two. Now, how uh, how do we uh, the, the, uh, in in this uh, in the molecular orbital theory? Uh, usually, we represent the orbital formations in terms of diagrams, and we say that an MO or a molecular orbital diagram, just like an atom atomic orbital diagram, shows the relative energies and the number of electrons in each molecular orbital. 
The molecular orbital diagram also shows the atomic orbitals from which each molecular orbital is formed. So the representation, as you can see, should be such that each molecular orbital diagram should show the atomic orbitals and how they are and, and their electronic distribution, then the molecular orbitals and their electronic distribution showing the boarding and also showing the ant boarding molecular orbitals. So in the we have seen the diagram or we have seen the we have looked at a combination of two hydrogen atoms. Now each so on each side is a representation of atomic orbitals and in the middle representing a hydrogen atom each with a single electron in the in one s orbital. So when they combine they will form two molecular orbitals. The molecular orbital will be of lower energy. It will be down while the and it is what we call a, um, a boarding orbital, molecular orbital, boarding orbital, the one at the bottom. And it is shown sigma, no star. Then on the on top we have sigma star showing the antiboarding orbital when the two combine. So the number of boarding orbitals is equal to the number uh, the number of uh, boarding molecular orbitals is equal to the number of atomic orbitals that were half filled minus those that were uh, had uh, ro uh, lone pairs of electrons then you multiply by a half and in that case we have find that it is a half two minus zero so how do we place electrons in molecular orbitals electrons are placed in molecular orbitals just as they are in atomic orbitals that is you look at the outermost electronic configuration Molecular orbitals are filled in order of increasing energy. And molecular orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. Of course, an orbital can only hold a maximum of two electrons with opposite spins. Orbitals of equal energy are half filled with spins parallel before pairing spins. Molecular electronic configuration shows the type of molecular orbitals and the type and the number of electrons in each con contained for hydrogen. So for, uh, okay, let's let's see when, uh, if we can look at another orbital. Now consider the molecular orbital diagram for helium two pl plus meaning that it has lost a single electron. It means that one of the helium atoms has a single electron or the, in the 1s because helium has electrons, outermost electrons in the 1s. The other one has a pair of electrons. So what molecular orbitals do you form? You have you, you, you are combining two atomic orbitals. So you form two molecular orbitals. But you have to fill, first of all, the molecular, one will be at boarding, the other one, one will be boarding. So you have to fill two electrons in the boarding orbitals. So it means that the antiboarding orbital will have one unpaired electron. Because the type, the number of uh, orbitals that combined were two, there must be one, uh, the result of one boarding and one antiboarding. But because the electrons that were there were three, 
only two will go to the boarding, the single one will go to anti-boarding because you feel the boarding orbital first before you feel the anti-boarding orbital. Now, let us see what would happen if we try to look at Now, look at helium. You know, helium as an atom has two, has a lone pair of electrons, a single lone pair in each of atoms. So if you try to form H2, helium 2, which, uh, which is not charged, it means that each of the helium atom must come with its pair of electrons in the 1s. So you will form two orbitals, molecular orbitals. One antiboarding and one boarding. And each will have a pair of electrons. So this is how what would look like in uh, a helium. Uh, two, he, if you try to combine two helium atoms to form a helium molecule. And the board order, you know, the board order is given by the number of boarding electrons and the number of minus the number of antiboarding electrons so in that case it will be zero and it is pos not possible it, what it's telling you is that it is not possible to form a helium 2 molecule so to, to count the board order, let's go to how you count the board order again. Now, the board order is counted as half times number of boarding electrons minus number of antiboarding electrons. So if you have a full number, then that is a favored molecular orbital kind of a combination. So for hydrogen, the, the board order is half, two, this is the number of uh, boarding uh, or, uh, electrons, in hydrogen at a molecule minus zero the antiboarding electrons in hydrogen molecule. So you are predicting stability of spacing using molecular orbital diagram. Use molecular orbital diagram to find board orders and predict whether H2 plus and H2 minus exist. If either exist, write its electronic configuration. Plan, how do you predict? Since the 1s atomic orbitals form the molecular orbitals, the molecular orbital diagrams are similar to for the one of the hydrogen. We find the number of electrons in each species and distribute them one at a time to the molecular followed in the rules of orbital filling. We can create the board order and predict stability. So let's, for example, think about whether it is stable to form H2 plus a molecular or a molecule. So in H2 plus, it means that one of the hydrogen atoms will have one electron, the other one will have zero electrons. And so let's see how it would look like. So one, so, so for you to have a, a positive, which means that you have lost an electron. And since hydrogen has only one electron, the one that loses the electron will have zero. So you combine a hydrogen atom with one electron and another one with zero electron, and you form two molecular orbit, orbitals. Then the, the the uh, the molecular or the boarding mo molecular orbital 
Then we have the we have the single electron, which uh, comes from both of the atomic orbitals. Um, the antibody orbital will have zero, so the order will be half one minus zero, which is a half. So we predict that H two plus exists, but it is not a very stable configuration because it does not have zero, then if it does not have zero, it exists. But if it is not a full number, then it is not very stable. Now, what about H2 minus? It would mean that one has a pair of electron so that you have a negative charge and the other one has a single electron. Now, if you add, you have two, uh, two uh, molecular orbitals, you put two electrons first of all to the boarding orbital, then because there will be a single one, it will go to the antiboarding. Now the board order will be half, two minus one, two is the, are the number of electrons in the boarding orbital, minus one in the antiboarding. And we so both exist because we don't have zero, but not stable because they have uh, a, a, a not, not full numbers. So boarding in S block homonuclear homo diatomic molecule. Suppose we try to look at boarding, for example, is it possible to have lithium-2, two, two lithium atom boarding? Each would come with two a single electron, and you'd have two electrons in the boarding and two electrons in the, uh, and, and zero in the antiboarding. And therefore, uh, board order is one, the lithium, if you combine, you have two electrons two in the antiboarding, two in the uh, in the boarding, and two in the antiboarding. So half two minus two is half. So beryllium would not be favored uh, in this kind of combination. So I think uh, I'll leave it at that. Uh, and then I'll allow you to ask questions. And then I'll be posting the notes to the e-learning site. So any comments, questions? Uh, yes, uh, there is a hard list. Let me see who it is. So there's a, sing, a, a single, so you can you can ask the one who is raising. Oh, so let's say uh, Sylvester. So Sylvester first. Well, yes. Dr. Yeah, Dr. I want to thank you and appreciate you for the lesson. Yes. And uh, I, I wish to ask about the cut. Uh, when we are doing the answers, are we supposed to write the rewrite the question or simply do the answers and post them? Just do the answer and write the question number. Do we need to write our names or our reg registration <coughs> numbers? It is it, it okay. It may be important to be because of uh, probably reference if I download. But so, so long as you know you you post with your if you post from your you know, you post from what? From, from you post using your um, number. You know, you know, you post using your e-learning site. So I will know mm -hmm. who has posted. So I give, I, I, I mark according to where the paper is, okay, uh, where the uh, uploading is. Yeah. So you need it, you need it, but it is important for purposes of reference. Okay, thank you, Dr. Lovie. The other point is about uh, the, the issue of uh, the, the, the orbitals, the atomic orbitals. I, I, I am, I, there's something I don't quite understand. And how I wish yes. you would, uh, how I wish you would say something about the, the S and the P's and all that. There's some I, I, I got lost. And I believe I'm not the only one. Uh, 
Okay, probably we, we can make a point next week of uh, probably going back to giving about 10, 30 minutes to looking at uh, orbital, uh, uh, orbitals, S, T, and probably D. Yeah, that will do us a great favor so that we don't get lost all through because uh, okay. and it's like the, the, the concepts are building on that those orbitals, eh? Okay. Yeah, and the point on the, then we will not, the atomic, then we will not be able to catch up on the molecular orbitals as we move along and the, the diagram, the atomic diagram, the molecular diagram. Okay, let, let, let's uh, say next week we spend maybe 30 minutes uh, trying to talk about atomic orbitals. Exactly. Thank you so much, Dr. I appreciate it. So, Musiri Ruka. How can please help us with the revision papers? I think I have attached to, if you go to discussions, I think in this unit, those were, isn't it that I have attached to reference uh, former question papers? Go to the discussion. You'll find two papers. So, yeah, I think you have not checked the discussion section. So you can unlace your heart, Harry, because I think, Harry, I think uh, the, you're the one I talked to, is it? And also Msiri, then Moses Waweru. Yes, how are you, sir? How are you, sir? I'm fine, and you? I'm also fine. I'm also fine. Mm -hmm. There is the issue that you have raised about the cut that you just write the answers and not the questions. So long as you... Even if you don't, you, I'm, I'm saying, you know, you asked whether it is necessary to copy the questions. Of, okay, there's I no problem. With mine. You, no, no, that is not a problem, so long as I can Copy see you. the answer. Yeah. All so right. I'm saying it is not necessary for you to copy the question. I'm not I saying that it is. I copied the question uh, and, I, and I wrote the answers. No, that is not a problem. All it right. Is, okay, so, I know I can see, I can see, probably you may download the. Uh, the, the questions and then you fix the answers. I that do is okay. them somewhere, then I attach the questions. But it is, um, what I'm saying is that it is not necessary. All right. Harry, I see, uh, I not talk to you. Yes, hello. Uh -huh. Hello, Dr. Harry. Stemma, yeah, I can hear you. Good evening. Evening, how are you? I'm good, how are you, sir? I'm okay, so go ahead. Either. One is this, I don't know that you are the person to direct that question to. Yes? Hello, I have a concern. Yes. I don't know whether you're the right person I should direct the concern to. About? We are, we are set for a practical session over the weekend. Yes. But then there is no proper communication from the office. So I don't know if you could uh, help me out. So you, you are attached to which campus? I'm attached to Kakamega campus. Okay. And where, uh, where are you supposed to go? Or you, or you don't know where you're supposed to go? Okay. I'm uh, hearing from the continuing student. It is my first semester. I'm hearing from the continuing student that uh, the practicals are normally held at uh, Eldoret campus. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I, I don't know, unless you talk to the, I don't know whether you, uh, you, you because I probably you, you admitted from Kakamega. Yes. Because unless you talk to the principal or the director of Kakamega, I, I don't know, you know, I, I'm, I'm based in Deka, so I know Deka is there, practicals when they are planned, they are there. I don't know about, I, I'm not so much sure about Kakamega. So unless you talk to the principal, Kakamega, and then you ask for direction. That one I'm not sure, of, but I can try to find out. Please try to find out, because uh, I've been calling the office, but to uh, they are not responding. I try to find out and then I I'll post. It's okay because it's set for 
Saturday. This Saturday, this coming Saturday. Okay. Otherwise, uh, then uh, if, if I don't know if, but if they are continuing students are telling you about Eldoret, you can uh, uh, probably plan for Eldoret because I know uh, Eldoret is much bigger. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Hi, uh, okay. How are you seeing? I thought we talked, is it? Yeah, I'm the one you are talking to. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know, you have not unlaced your head. Also, Musiri Ruka. Okay, let Musiri me. Ruka. Uh, so, uh, I, I, because I, I can't see any other raised head. So, have a good night. Hello, Dr. Tari. Hello, Dr. Tari. to you, Dr. Tari. Hello. Oh, there is somebody. Okay. Yes. I, I can, yes. Can, yes. I'm asking about protocols for the main campus. We don't have any communication about the same. No, I, who, 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 I, I thought it is the communication is in the uh, Iranic site, is it? No, I haven't. Iranic site. So, wh 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 why is the communication? It is not in the Iranic site. Okay. Yes? Uh, it's in the time table. Uh, the main campus is not included in the timetable. The yeah, main campus is not included. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I, I find out and then I communicate by tomorrow uh, because uh, usually the communication is done in the Iran next site and then uh, you go there. So I'll check. I'll check tomorrow and then I'll be able to communicate. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, they've talked to Renaya. Anybody else? <laughs> so apart from Renaya, I, I, I don't see anybody else, and I think I've so have a good night. You too. You good too. Night, too. You good too. night, too. Good night.
ഈ എന്റെ ഏമ നമ്മൾ ഉത്തി What is the praise value of digit six in the box in a month? Tens hundreds thousands tens of thousands hundred of thousands hundred of thousands hundred of The length of water pipe connects in an irrigation farm is 40 the 75 meters. What is the length in meters? 40 kilometer. What is the length in Round off the nearest thousand. That's eight. Create the area of the combined shape. The area.
Siko kinyagi vili yesio Theja